So it gives me great pleasure to introduce to all of our fans and supporters uh, the new head coach for Louisville City Football Club, John Hackworth. We're going to have John say a few words, but before we do, there's just three things I'd like to say. One, uh, a couple years ago we started this process. We said the quote that I wanted to use was a good old Benjamin Franklin one. You know, whatever your lot in life, build something on it. We're building it right down the street. We're excited by that. But we all know, even with a good foundation, you've got to keep building on it with stronger and stronger and stronger blocks to get what you really want. Uh, for those of you who thought we weren't doing anything, we really were looking pretty hard for a coach. I want to thank Tim Malloy and Brad Estes for all the effort they gave us uh, in that process. Because without those two guys, Lord knows who I would have hired. Uh, but we didn't have one of those. We're not sure who we want. It was a consensus vote. Everybody wanted John Hackworth. And John, we're just thrilled to have you. Thank you. And it's your team now, brother. <laughs> Good uh, look. Thank you, John. Um, I am super excited to be here. Uh, I would also like to thank Brad and Tim. Um, I had a fun time with them in the interview. And uh, one of the questions that John asked me in the interview process was what I wanted to know about this organization in this town. And, and I said very simply that I wanted to be with good people and I wanted to try to figure that out. And then uh, the rest of the day, Tim and Brad took me all over Louisville, and I think I learned more in an afternoon than most people could, and had a good time, and just uh, really felt connected to the people here uh, at the very start. So, super excited about this opportunity, and really proud to be part of this club. What was so appealing about this club for you? A couple major factors. Number one was that they had a tradition of winning already. Um, obviously, they had won this trophy the year before, and that's what I wanted to go into. I wanted to go into an ownership group that absolutely had aspirations to win more trophies and to fill that cabinet uh, with multiple trophies. So that was one. Uh, I'm not going to lie, the fact that the stadium was getting built and the ground was already, shovels were already in the ground, that was number two, because that means that there's so much to build on here. There's so much to grow, not only from a, a club standpoint, but from a community standpoint. And that is really unique. Hopefully, uh, the professional team here in Louisville, uh, being a soccer team is something that this town will embrace. Uh, I know we have a lot of competition, um, and it seems to be a great sports town so far because I've done so many interviews in 24 hours. It's amazing. That's part of Brad's making me do that. but. Uh, it, seems, uh, it seems fantastic. And then finally, the opportunity to come and grow something. And I was looking for a place where I felt like my family and I could come and settle down and put some roots. Um, as long as we win some trophies, I think the ownership group will let me stay. Uh, and that was really what I wanted to kind of look for. And um, this town, I've only been here for a day, but uh, already I feel welcomed. And I want to thank all the fans and the ownership group and supporters. Uh, and players, the players were fantastic in our first uh, training session this morning. So, uh, so far, so good. What you learn in Philadelphia? Oh, lots. Um, too much to fill one interview. But uh, what I did, I would say, I took away from that is that uh, you got to stick to your guns. You got to do things that you're uh, believe in what your principles are, and you know. Not to go into a whole big story about that, but I think I did that there. And, and uh, I left that town and that city and that club in a better place than uh, when I first arrived, and I'm proud of that. What kind of style can we expect for you to want to implement with this group? Well, I think the style's here a little bit, and, and I like that. Uh, this team plays an aggressive style. They're a pressing team. Uh, I want us to be uh, an attacking team in all ways on both sides of the ball. When we have it, I want to go to goal. Uh, when we don't, have the ability to goal, I want us to possess it. I want to make the other team chase. Uh, and at the same time, you know, soccer is a game of turnover. So when you lose it, I expect us to get it right back. And uh, if we can go to goal, we're going to go. So uh, I think you're going to see an aggressive pressing type style, um, but also one that is built on a, a foundation of uh, taking care of the ball and valuing the ball. 
you've worked with teams before that development has been a big thing with young players and guys wanting to get to the next level. So how, how do you see that in the USL with this group, wanting to help the players just develop while working as a, a unit? Yeah, look, I, I don't want to coach players that don't want to get better every single day. So that's the starting point. And, um, you know, I'm quite sure that all those guys in that locker room um, has aspirations. But the one great thing that I've already discovered here is that they put the value on the team versus the individual. Um, that was something James O'Connor did a great job laying that foundation. And I've said it before, you know, um, I have big shoes to fill because he was an excellent coach and did a great job here. Um, but at the same time, uh, I think we have a lot of room for growth. And things like the stadium and a potential uh, youth academy program down the road, all of these things are very attractive. And I'm looking to be even part of that. What do you like most about the team? and what? What do you think needs to do the, the most work? Uh, I love the mentality and the culture. Those are the two things that are very obvious right away. Uh, I think we can improve our defending. Uh, there's been too much time in, in the recent games, for sure, where we've given up some goals. And um, you know that's something that uh, I hope I can come in and, and try to improve on a day-to-day -day basis. When you have such a good team that, that has that mentality to go forward, you do open up yourself uh, to some spaces in the back. And so we just need to uh, tighten that up a little bit. And if we do, I think we'll still continue to score goals and attack. So. This is a community that's embraced this team wildly over the first few years. How much are you looking forward to playing in front of that crowd and those fans on Saturday night? Yeah, that's going to be a special moment. Uh, and I hope that place is full. I hope. Uh, uh, the fans can really get behind this team, and not because of me. Um, you know, John said it. Uh, I don't think this team or this moment is about John Hackworth at all. I think it's about the club and the players um, and the community. And I hope the community comes out and supports it because there is so much positive energy happening right now um, behind this club and this town. So um, I'm excited for it. I'm, again, I'm honored to be a part of it. And uh, at the same time, uh, I will try to do my very best to lead it in all the right ways, starting on Saturday. How many of these players were you somewhat familiar with before you got here, and how many are you learning about? Uh, well, since uh, the process to get hired here was you know, a little long, um, I studied, and I did a lot of homework. And so I got to know the team quite well from afar. Brian Ombi played for me uh, in the under-17 team. In residency the first time I was in charge of that program so I know him quite well it was fun to see him again today and I've watched his career uh, and been very proud of him uh, Sean Francis was a guy who came on in a trial that at Philadelphia for a little while uh, Luke Spencer um, I coached against uh, when he was first at Cincinnati um, Paolo De Piccolo I know from from his days on the youth national team so uh, a little bit, um, but a lot of guys I'm meeting for the first time, and I, I told them the first thing I told them this morning is I'm here to earn your respect and your trust. And the only way I think you can do that is by building relationships. Um, and we started that process this morning. So, again, it's, uh, it's just the beginning, but so far so good. Coming in at this stretch of games, how difficult is it to adjust to, you know, five games in the end of August and also the difficulties of coming into the back half of the season? Yeah, this is a unique situation. I mean, you don't see many of these kind of coaching changes in any sport, you know, anywhere in the world. Um, team that's, you know, defending champion, doing really well in the league. Uh, it's kind of a, I don't know, I can't remember the last time that happened. So um, that is a massive challenge in and of itself. Uh, the fact that we have five games in the next, Scott, you tell me, is it 12 or 13? 17. 17? Oh, that's, that's way too many days. Um, <laughs> but it is a challenge. And, uh, you know, there's a, a couple guys that are banged up, and we don't have a big roster, so we're going to need to – everybody in that locker room is going to really play an important role in these next five games. And that is key because, you know, we have games to make up in league play, and although we're, we're sitting good in the standings right now, if we do our job and we collect points in those games, we'll be sitting in a much better position looking to bring in anybody, a couple fresh faces to uh, help this group get through these next few games? Yeah, that's, you teed that up well. Can I, can I be a <laughs> baseball player and knock that one out of the park? Holy cow. 
Um, yeah, we are looking to bring in some new faces, and we hope, or Scott hopes, that we can announce some of that very soon. Um, so yes, thanks, Scott. How does your approach maybe change, considering the fact that they're um, in the playoff race right now and, and have seen success this year, how does that approach change compared to otherwise? Yeah, it's, I don't have to come in here and, and fix a lot of things. I, I need to come in here and I need to lead. I need to, again, build those relationships, make sure those guys in that locker room believe in me as much as I believe in them. Uh, I need to see what they're doing really good and try to make it that much better. Um, I don't have to reinvent the wheel. Um, this is a really good team, a team that knows how to win. Uh, so I think if we continue to push in the right direction and try to get better every single day, um, success uh, follows that. Everybody good? Fantastic. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to not <laughs>